Hi guys and uh, welcome to uh, Andy's Weird World. Now, today is a different type of video completely because I want you to be a detective. And, um, well, let me explain to you after the logo. Hiya, welcome back. Well, <clears throat> a couple of nights ago, um, at the farm that we have, uh, we were actually burgled. Um, in fact, the, the butcher was burgled, burgled next to the farm shop. And luckily that on the farm, we have a lot of CCTV and we have actually caught the people doing the job. So um, what I would like you to do is if you, when you see the video, can you just please just share it? Because it will eventually get back to these people knowing that they're actually being recorded. Now the police have been told, and um, of course you get a crime number, but that's it, nothing's gonna happen. But I want these people to know that we know who they are. So let me tell you where it is. It's actually in uh, a village called Meldrith, which is near Cambridge. And um, what happened um, was that uh, we'd all locked up and, and, and gone home. And it was still very early because it's around about um, 6.30 in the evening. And, um, and that's when it happened. And the thing is, um, there's people who actually live on the premises. There's several houses there. And uh, I think they probably thought, well, there's always people coming and going. There's lorries unloading and stuff like that. So they probably thought, oh, they, these are just normal guys picking stuff up. But they weren't. So anyway, this transit turns up around about 6.30. And first of all, they scout around the farm looking. Right, these guys actually went into our warehouse and the warehouse has two, two lots of doors. The first door is a sliding door, it's just used for storing stuff in. And they went in there and then I think they tried to get into the main warehouse itself, but they were found that impossible because that is completely locked up. They hunted around in there, they went back out again as you can see on the video, and then they decided to go down to the butchers. Right, you can see that they drive past the butchers a little bit and then they back up and um, they wait for a little while, see if anybody comes out or anything like that. And then they decide to see what they can see what they can steal. Now in fact they go to the front of the butchers first, which I do know, because I see security lights come on, and then from there they go back to their van and they go round the side the butchers and they go in and they prise open the freezer and they start stealing beef and lamb and other types of meat as well. Quite a distinctive van with I think it says any van on the side and uh, it's got a, um, uh, a big big roof rack on the top as well. As I was saying, this place is quite busy. There's quite a few cars going in and out all the time. And one car goes past and they, they dash and hide in the corner. And then they come back out again. And then they carry on nicking the meat, as you can see. So there we go. That's the, the breaking that we had two nights ago which was I think it was the uh, the 3rd of March and about 6.30 it's uh, at um, a butcher's in Meldrith and a farm shop and um, if you think you know who the people are let us know or let them know that they are on video and we'll be watching out for them because there's 24 hours of owners all the time and they were just lucky this time that they got away with that now if you know them 
please let me know or if you don't even know them to share the video share it to all your friends get them to share it because in the end it will get back to them so there we go that's my my little short video of, of a break-in that we had here thanks so much for watching don't forget to share and, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because that would be absolutely fantastic. Leave a comment. Don't forget, share, share, share. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.